Good evening. Hello, everybody. Good evening. How are you? Tired, but I'm here. Good. I don't know why, but I feel like if it's Friday <laughs> and it's just Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, I I love the the time. For me, all day are the the work. I didn't get it. Like good night. Good evening, Jasmine. Good evening. Yes, when we start the class, we say good evening because it's like saying hello. But okay. when okay. We, uh, we finish the class, we say good night because it's like saying goodbye. Okay. Okay? Okay, got it? Okay, good Great. evening. Good evening. <laughs> Okay, I, I am trying to send the presentation because I forgot to send it before. So, um, uh -huh. this is loading, but okay, now I have the attendance list and it's 801, so it's time to, to start the class. Let's see. Today, what day is it today? Is it Wednesday? Is it Friday or is it Tuesday? Oh, it's Tuesday. And it's Tuesday, September 28th. 28th, exactly. Can you imagine two more days and you're going to get paid? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good for you. Don't you feel excited? Yes, people, you're going to get paid. Smile, be happy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, Fatima is happy because she's going to get <laughs> her bitcoins. Yes. Oh, just kidding, her dollars. <laughs> <laughs> no bitcoins yet. Bitcoin. No bitcoin. No bitcoins, you don't want. <laughs> no. Okay, so just give me one second to send you the the, the, the PowerPoint because I know um, it's it's very useful for you. I just uh, what is it? It's number nine. Six, seven, eight, and nine is here. And it's uh, the class number nine. Wow. Okay, there you go, people. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the attendance and the first person in the list is who is the first person in the list? Do you remember? Alba. Alba de Noravides. Are you there? Are you here? Alba? Present. Yes. Okay. Alfredo. Present. Amilcar. No yet. Carlos Walberto. Present, teacher. Do Cristina Rosana. Present. Domingo González. Present. Thank you, Fátima Portillo. Present. José Matías Lemus. Present. Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. Present, teacher. Marco Alberto Cardona Valencia. Present. Oh, nice. Eh, Mauricio Alexander. Maideli Judith. Ok, she is oyente. Nancy Rodríguez. Present teacher. No. Rocío Maritza. Rocío Martínez. I see that you are there, but... 
Okay, Salvador Edgardo Vázquez. Eh, Sandra Yamile. Present teacher. Victor Salazar. He's connecting right now. Okay. Uh, Walter Daniel. Okay. Walter Daniel González. Okay, oyente. William Perez. Present. Jasmine Melanie. Present. Very nice. Thank you people for being here. Now we have more people in the class. Just like one or two missing. Very good. So today's class, as you can see in the presentation, I don't know if you have it right now there, <laughs> but it is about the use of wood, okay? Mm -hmm. Now just let me, let me see. It's our class number nine. Guys, did you finish your conversations? The ones that you started yesterday? Using, well, it was about um, feeling um, dissatisfied with a product. Mm -hmm. Did you finish, guys, the, the, the conversation? No. Yes, no, maybe. Maybe, teacher. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> okay, I like your honesty and sincerity. Good. So um, today we're going to start right with the topic, the main topic of the class. And later on, almost at the end, uh, we are going to see the, your presentations, okay? Hmm. Okay, guys, just let me do something here. Okay, let's see. Okay, I had a problem with my mouse. If not, if, if there is no one thing, it's a non. There is not the internet. It's another thing. <laughs> right now is my mouse. No working the mouse. Get a sleep teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe I need a, maybe the, the mouse needs battery because it's um, a wireless mouse. So maybe that's the reason. Okay. Let me see. Ah, it's working now. No. Not really. I'm, I'm gonna use the other. Okay. Zoom. Share screen. Let me know when you can see the screen. Okay. You see it now? I see. Yes. Yes. Okay. Do you see the crazy mouse? <laughs> ah, there. It's working now. Okay. So, uh, class number nine, how to use wood and would like to. Okay. Fatima, would you like to read the class objective, please? Okay. Class objective. A participant will be able to offer solution to a client that has had a problem with a product from their company by writing them in pairs and then offering them in the class using the target grammar correctly. Okay, so again, we are talking about problems with a product. Okay, in this unit, which is about a online orders and reforms. So let's see the activities. 
Uh, I'm gonna ask Mr. Walberto, can you please read the activities in the agenda? Farm up. What would what would you like? Activity one. Let's learn about the use of wood. Activity two. Listening, listening practice. Activity three. Role play. Activity four. Wrap up. Thank you. Okay, so now let's start with the warm up. What would you like? I have here some questions, okay? And I need volunteers to answer those questions. Who wants to answer question number one? <laughs> what would you like? ¿Qué te gustaría? What would you like? What would you like to eat for breakfast tomorrow? A volunteer? I would like to eat a pizza. For breakfast? Yes. <laughs> okay. It's a delicious. Yes, it is delicious, but wow, it, it is surprising for me that you would like to eat pizza for breakfast. Recalentada, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yes, reheated. Yeah, it's better. It's better. Any other person? Domingo, what would you like to eat for breakfast tomorrow? Please use the structure. I would like to eat. Me gustaría comer. I would like to eat. I'm going to invite you. Okay. I, I would like to eat. Uh... China food. Oh, China <laughs> No. For breakfast, para el desayuno, for breakfast. Chinese. Un songway. Un songway. A songway. You would like a to eat a songway, a sandwich. Well, uh -huh. I would like to eat a McMuffin. It's good. Oh, just frijolitos, right? Beans with pan francés. Hey, teacher. Coffee. And coffee. <laughs> and coffee. Bye. coffee. Bread. Yes, Matia dice bread with coffee. Okay. What would you like to do tomorrow? Christina? Hey, eat coffee. <laughs> Drink coffee. Drink coffee. Okay. Christina, what would you like to do tomorrow? I would like to eat a uh, hot cakes. Okay. And what would you like to do? Now talking about activities. What? Um, I would like to sleep. <laughs> I would like to don't don't work. You wouldn't. You wouldn't like to work. You wouldn't like to work. No, you wouldn't. Uh -huh. Okay. I wouldn't like to work. Mm hmm. Or I would like to stay home. I would like to uh, a, a movie. A movie? You would like to watch a movie? Yes, I would like to watch a movie with my mom. I miss her. <laughs> Matias says I would like to relax on my bed okay, and play video games. Just kidding. Okay, I look could... at... Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Say it. I would like to sleep, sleep here. Uh, ask, do ask them. All afternoon. Oh, guys, I feel so much better today. I, I mean, I rested in yesterday. I didn't feel good, but today I rested the whole afternoon. I, I had a long nap and I feel so much better now. <laughs> I think that you can see my, the difference. <laughs> 
Okay, I have this question. Fatima, what would you like the teacher to do tomorrow in the class? I would like that the teacher, or I would like that you, that you give us the day off. Oh, <laughs> no, I would like to give you the, the, the day off, but not in my hands. <laughs> no, no, that's not true. Okay. No, I, I would like that, that you stay with us in the class as every day. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Let's see another person, a volunteer. This is your opportunity to ask the teacher to do something. <laughs> Mr. Cañengas? I could like the teacher at uh, this music. To play for, music. Uh, play music per class. <laughs> okay. The thing is that sometimes um because the, the, the videos are post are, uh, are submitted on YouTube, we can have like this problem of um the rights of the rights of the music. Mm -hmm. That's why. <laughs> but we'll Peter, see. Okay. Yeah. Peter, what is the difference? Would and would like to. Ah, that's what we are going to study today. We are okay. going to study the difference between just would and would like to. Marlon. Marlon, what would you like the teacher to do tomorrow in the class? Well, teacher, I think that you want to give us a rest. Ah, you would like me to give you a rest. <laughs> no, that's lie, okay. that's lie. Okay, or maybe you can say, I would like the teacher to dance or something like that. <laughs> no, just kidding. Or sing. <laughs> Other oh, big. Okay. No. <laughs> Not big. Okay. Um, I have this other question. Where would you like to go this weekend? I'm gonna ask the people that are oyentes. Okay, Maydeli, Walter, <laughs> William, Alba. You can write in the chat or Sandra. Where would you like to go this weekend? Where? Place. Where would you like to go this weekend? I would like to go to Lake Guatepeque. To fish. Guatepeque Lake, okay. Guatepeque Lake. Or the beach. Beach. Play. Nice. With your family. Yeah, with my two son and my wife. Mm, yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> Any other person? Alfredo? Nancy? Um, in my case, teacher, I would like to go this weekend at a beach. Okay, you would like to go to the beach, okay? Yes, and feel the waves, right? Yes, walk to the, on the, on the Ah, okay. We need vacation, teacher. I know. <laughs> You're going to have it. But, but Just only the, only 11 the more, yeah. 11 more days. It says, uh, William says, I would like to go to Re Lempa River on the weekend. Mm. 
Well, some years ago, I went to El Imposible Forest, and it was, I mean, amazing. And there was like a river with crystal water. I would like to go there again. If I could, I would go this weekend. And we other... like to go the party. <laughs> um, well, we are in pandemic now, so <laughs> we cannot go. I yeah. I would like to go to <laughs> visit Ruta Panoramica. Teacher, you don't see La pandemia. The, the <laughs> ¿Cómo se diría el brujo? <laughs> Teacher. Mi addition? No. no, no. <laughs> Teacher se fue. Well, In the party. <laughs> Teacher. <laughs> Teacher no tiene encendido el micrófono. Hello, teacher. La perdimos. La perdimos. We lost, teacher. El brujo se dice wizard. Wizard. All right. Wizard. Brujo. Sorry, guys. I was Así. talking by myself. I didn't. I didn't know that I. I was muted. <laughs> I'm sorry. William says I would not like to go to the hospital on weekend. <laughs> yeah, nobody sorry. wants. Nobody wants. <laughs> Okay, guys. I'm sorry. Ah, sorry. Estamos preguntando qué es cómo se dice brujo. Oh, uh, Mr. Cañengas was right. It's wizard. Yeah. Wizard. Ah. Ajá, teacher. Brujo en bruja. Witch. Witch. Ah, right. Mm -hmm. So it's for yeah. men. The water. The water is very, very, very clear. In this river, is a limit limited to Guatemala and El Salvador, and this water, it's beautiful. Oh, is where is it in Huachapal? It's in Nangiatu, Candelaria la frontera, Nangiatu. Okay, Conte Santa Ana. Yeah. In on the border. Y es, se desvía uno, uno antes de la de la de la Marco no. se desvía uno este antes de llegar a la, a la frontera como mano derecha y dice río el brujo que es cerro el brujo pero es hermosísimo <risa> Well, the name, I mean, it doesn't look very attractive, doesn't sound very attractive, but, but it's okay, okay. It's I will beautiful. take it into account. Okay, Sandra says, I would not like to go to the hospital on Wednesday. Okay, guys, I would like just to practice pronunciation, okay? Please repeat after me. What would you like? What would you like? What would you like? Wood. 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 What would you like? What would you like to eat breakfast tomorrow? What would you like, you like to eat for breakfast tomorrow? For breakfast tomorrow? <laughs> I would like to eat. I would I like would to read. Like to it. Yeah, as you can see, we don't pronounce the L. Mm -hmm. Just W O U N D or the O. Would. 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 I would. What would you like to do tomorrow? What, what would, you would you like to do, do tomorrow? tomorrow? I would like to. I would like to. What would you like the teacher to do tomorrow in the class? What would you like the teacher to do tomorrow in the class? In the class. I would like the teacher to. I would like the teacher to. Where would you like to go this weekend? 
Where would you like to go this weekend? I would like to go to Cerro El Brujo. I would like to go to Cerro <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Now let's continue. Mouse, please work. I would like my mouse to work very well. Okay, now in the in the in your handbook, in your book, in your manual. Um, you can see this, this document. Oh, who's listening to music? <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> it's Queen Game. Okay, so uh, here you can see this document, which is uh, um, a... <laughs> Hello. Okay, so let's read it. Note, please note, Waterloo's customer satisfaction warranty is 90 days from date of purchase. Retain a copy of your records and close the original with the mer merchandise. Use one line per item. All quantities are to be reported in each space. All either returns will require the original order number recorded on the form so credit can be processed. Okay, so we can see here uh, the one person filled this form because the person wants a refund because as you can see is not uh, this client is not satisfied with the product so um this person fills uh, out the form and you can see the different things for example stock details reason code the reason code is dmpp d stands for dissatisfaction can you repeat, please? Dissatisfaction. Dissatisfaction. MPP, which is Product Performance. MPP, Product Performance. Product Performance. Product Performance. Mm -hmm. Then we have item number, quantity of the items, the product, six products. The day of the purchase was uh, 23 of November, November 23rd, 2017, the order number and relevant reason, all oh, missing parts of the product. Now, I would like that everybody in, um, in your mute, you can mute your, your, your microphone, but you can read uh, by your own silently, read uh, the note for you to practice pronunciation please okay later on i'm gonna ask one person to read it for the class but in this moment please um practice alone let me see if you are reading Very good. Uh, Cristina? Hello, Cristina. Hello. Would you like to read, please? Or oh. note. Please note. 
Waterloo customer satisfaction warranty is 90 days from the death of Porsche. Retain a copy of your record. Enclose the original with the merchandise. Use one line per item. All quantities are to be reported in the edge space. Our items return will recover the original order number recorded on the front so credit can be processed. Okay, thank you, Christina. Everybody, please repeat after me. Purchase. Purchase. Merchandise. Merchandise. Quantities. Quantity. Processed. 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 Okay. I'm gonna ask now Nancy. Nancy, could you please read? Please not see when Laidlu Waterloo Blues customer satisfaction. Warranty. Warranty is ninety day, forty, or sure. Right, a copy of your record, enclose the original with the mercanti. Use one line per item. Our quality are to be report is a flat at eating. Returned will re requiri the original order number record on the four so credit can be product process okay nancy thank you um please again let's now let's pronounce item 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 uh -huh. And require. Require. Mm -hmm. Recorded. Recorded. Processed. Processed. Merchandise. Merchandise. Mm -hmm. Okay, now guys, let's answer the following questions. What are the reasons the customer wants a refund? Would the customer mm. get the refund and why? Missing parts. Missing parts. Because missing part. Ah, uh, okay. But how will you write a complete answer? Can you please think about it? And maybe you can write it in the chat. Okay. Sorry. Think about a complete answer. Teacher. Yes, Mr. Cañangas. The answer long is uh, the reason is some missing part. Uh -huh. The client 
ones are fun because no, there okay. are so missing parts in the products. Would the customer get the refund? Why? We got the first, it says, let's see. The customer wants a refund because the company, mm -hmm. the company, okay, the customer wants a refund because there are, there are some missing parts in the product. Oh, because the products were not complete. There were some missing parts. Would the customer get a refund? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, he would or she would, right? Yes. Also yeah. because the product has a warranty feature. Exactly. You, you because the product has warranty of 90 days. Mm -hmm. Very nice, Fatima. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. Now, guys, let's see. We have would plus verb in base form and would like to plus verb in base form two. Look at this example. I would change this product. He would buy there again. We wouldn't stay in this place. Would you give me your information? Now, notice how we use would like to. I would like to change this product. He would like to buy it again. They wouldn't like to come back. Would you like to get a refund? So uh, in this case, would like to is equal or is similar to want. I want to change this product. I he wants to buy it again. They, they don't want to come back here. Do you want to get a refund? So would like to is similar to want. ¿verdad? It's to express a desire. Para expresar un deseo. And would to express like a um, possibility. It says, cambiaría este producto and compraría ahí otra vez. Nosotros no nos quedaríamos en este lugar. ¿Me darías tu información? Okay. Y would like to sería, me gustaría cambiar este producto. A él le gustaría comprar aquí otra vez, comprar allí otra vez. Ellos no les gustaría volver aquí. ¿Te gustaría obtener un reembolso? You see the difference? Teacher, just one thing. Uh, maybe we'll just add IA at the end of the word, right? 
Ia. Uh -huh. okay. En español sí. Cambia el verbo a ia. Cambiaría, compraría, me quedaría, me darías. Y ya cuando le ponemos el like to, entonces gustaría. Me gustaría, me gustaría. Así como lo estábamos haciendo al principio de la clase. I would like to go to the, I would like to go to the park this weekend. Or I would like to go to Coatepeque Lake this weekend. Or I would like to to eat tacos tomorrow for breakfast. For breakfast, no, not for breakfast, for lunch. <laughs> I would like to to have a a piece of cake for a snack and coffee in the afternoon. Okay. Now, also we can use would like, and instead of a verb, we can have a noun. For example, I would like a cup of tea. You would like to drink tea. Entonces, ven, la diferencia puede ser de las dos maneras. Como me gustaría una taza de té, me gustaría tomar té. Sí, teacher. ¿Sí? Le podría poner el zoom, teacher, porque casi no se ven las letritas de abajo. Ah, Por... sí, las de abajo casi no se ven. Um, pero no sé si la puede ver en la presentación. ¿Qué les teacher. Mando? Teacher. Diga, oh. Mr. Cañangue. When, when I use wood only, eh, es el wood solamente eh, va a depender de, de la acción que determine el verbo que continúa, ¿verdad? Exacto. En cambio, con el like to ya lo predispone a, a una sola interpretación. Muy bien. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Y como ven, se usa con todos los subjects. No cambia, ¿verdad? Es igual. Entonces, en el affirmative form, tenemos he would like a cup of tea. He would like a can of soda with his lunch. She would like to have a, a, a cup of coffee with her friends. We would like to eat pizza at the end of the, of the course, of the module, when we finish the class, etc. In negative form, in the negative form, you just have to add not or an apostrophe T. I wouldn't like a cup of tea. She wouldn't like to drink tea. She would prefer coffee. Y para las preguntas, to make questions, we need to place would at the beginning. Ponemos el would al principio. Luego, el sujeto, the subject. Then, the verb que puede ser otro verbo o puede ser este, like or like. Eh, y luego el complemento que puede ser otro verbo o un noun, como los ejemplos. Would you like a cup of tea? Would you like to drink tea? Y la respuesta. Yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. Yes, she would. No, she wouldn't. Ahora, miren qué interesante las grammar notes que encontré. Dice, miren. I would like a cup of tea is a more polite way to say I want a cup of tea. Entonces, es una, usamos el would like para ser más educados, more polite. And I would like... The contraction is I'd like. Tal vez ya lo habían visto antes. El, el apostrofe in just the D. I'd like. I'd like a cup of tea in speaking. Pero en las, cuando en las respuestas, in the answers, we don't contract. It's never contracted. 
You don't say yes, I do. No, ese sería incorrecto. Sería yes, I would. Or yes, she would. Y cuando están respondiendo a una, a una oferta o cuando alguien le ofrece algo, puede, es más eh, educado decir no, thank you. You say thank you instead of saying no, I wouldn't. Ok. No, pero ese es cuando me ofrecen algo, teacher. Sí. Ok. Eh. Yes. En, pre, en preguntas no se puede contratar. La answers no. No, you can't. Solo en affirmative and in the negative, but using uh, instead of saying I would not, uh, I would not like it to eat pupusas, uh, or I wouldn't like to eat pupusas. Can I continue, guys? Uh, teacher. Yes. Entonces, eh, I es igual a I would. Exacto. Eh, you, entonces sería you, sería con el apóstrofe, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. You'd, he'd. We'd, they'd, así, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. I'd, you'd, he'd, she'd, it, we'd, and they'd. Que casi no, bueno, casi no se usa. Más que todo, just in the first person. I did. Pero sí, también se usa. He did, or she did, or we did. No, de repente aparecen en, así en determinadas lecturas. Exactly, but now you know. Uh -huh. Ahora ya saben. ¿Y okay. el it, cómo sería? It. It. <laughs> a little bit weird, but it's like that. Okay, now guys, we have here some sentences. Please help me to complete. I'm thirsty. This is the first one. I'm thirsty. I would like a glass of water, please. So as you can see in this example, it's very polite. Instead of saying, I want a glass of water, quiero un vaso de agua. You are more educated, you're more polite, and you say, I would like a glass of water, please. Me gustaría un vaso de agua, por favor. Ahora, miren esta pregunta. Look at this question. You, a break, yes, we, how would you uh, complete? Would you, would like, you like, like a break? Uh, would you like, like a break? A break? Like to. Yes, we would. Um, Les yes, gustaría we un recreo, un receso? Yes. 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 Okay. Number three. I don't understand this. I. I would like some help. Exactly. I would. I would. I would like to. No, en eso sería solo I would like. I would like. I would like some help. Me gustaría algo de ayuda con mi tarea. I would like some help with my homework. Porque no hay este help aquí. No es verbo, sino que es un sustantivo. Ayuda. No es verbo aquí. ¿Verdad? I would like some. ¿Cómo lo sabemos? Porque usa un, un, un quantifier antes. Ajá. Some help with my homework. Ahora. Veamos number four. Patrick. Would go. Ah, muy bien. Solo ponemos el would. Patrick would go to the supermarket. Why? Because he needs milk. Patrick would go to the supermarket. Now, question in number five. 
would Tom like come with us? Okay, would Tom uh -huh. like Tom like to come with us? Would Tom like to come with us? Yes. Yes, he would. Yes, he would. Yes, he would. He would. Okay. Can I help you? Yes. Yes, I would. I like. would like. I would like a ticket to Melbourne. My friends. Would come would to the come. party next. Uh -huh, just would. My friends would come, come to the party come. next week. Okay. Yes. Mis amigos vendrían a la fiesta la otra semana. Mm -hmm. Otra semana. Next week. Number eight. Would you like to work? To... Would... would you like to work on Saturday? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would it? To work on Saturday. No, please. No, I wouldn't. Okay. Number nine. Good July. Safi. Would you like uh, chocolate, chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream? Vanilla ice cream. Oh, it's difficult. I like both. <laughs> mm -hmm. Number 10. Do you like CMB? Would you like see a movie? To see a movie? No. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Eleven. What? What would you like to? Exactly. What would you like to do? Like to do. Pero acuérdense que after like siempre vamos a utilizar el to cuando haya otro verbo, ¿verdad? Después. What would you like to do tomorrow? Who would like some candy? We would. We would. Mm -hmm. Who would like some candy? We would. Okay. Very nice. I like that you got this topic very easy. I mean, for you, wasn't that difficult? Nice, people. teacher. Teacher, in the case of the de la pregunta de la oración, tengo la duda de la oración 10, sí, es un verbo. No, no sería like to ah, see sí, a movie. Sí, 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 tiene razón, se me fue. Ay, y en, en la... Yo diciéndoles, no se les tienen que ponerle. En la oración, en <risa> esta, y me, y me en lo la comí. Ocho, en la también, número ocho en la también, sí, like sí, to sí. work. Miren pues cómo me tienen. Eh, es la hora, ticha. <risa> Oh, thank you. Ah, ahora no, no, no. Lista. no, es que solo les estaba probando a ver si estaba ver, poniendo sí. atención. Eso, eso me confundió, Ticha. En por la eso mañana. Si encontramos dificultad, allí no hay qué? que decir porque con esos errores me confundió un poquito. Nada, mira. Sí. En la número cuatro, Ticha, eh, Patrick, where to go to? No sé no. Si no, no, ahí solo el chocolate. Bueno, también puede ser would like o solo would. Ahí te vaya. 
Ay, sí. <risa> Como yendo a Nancy. Enojada, Nancy. No, no se enoje, Nancy. I'm sorry. <risa> Por lo que no se despertó. Ya miren. Entonces, si volvemos a la, a la anterior. Acuérdense. Que would like es me gustaría, ¿verdad? O le gustaría. Y puede ser que... Y después haya un noun, una cosa, ¿verdad? Algo como en ese, I'm thirsty, I would like a glass of water. Or you can have like an action, for example, um, I would like, see, uh, or oh, this one, I wouldn't, would you like to work on Saturday? Tenemos like to work, y luego hay un verbo. Igual era número 5. Eh, number 5, would Tom like to come with us? Number 10, would you like to see a movie? Number 11, what would you like to do tomorrow? Mm -hmm. And uh, we can have this like in number 4, Patrick would go to the supermarket, he needs milk. Patrick. Eh, sería, Patrick iría al supermercado, él necesita leche. Eh, another one, I don't remember. My friends would come to the party next week. Mis amigos vendrían a la fiesta la siguiente semana, next week. Bye. Vamos a ver. Algunos ejemplos del use of would. We can use would to extend an invitation. Would you like to come to my party? People, would you like to come to my party? My wedding party? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, I would. <laughs> I see where. Okay, mm -hmm. number two, to make a request. Would you be able to send this for me? Yes, no problem. Or yes, I would. Okay, would you be able to send this for me? Also, to ask for permission. Would I be able to go home early? Imagine you are asking your boss, right? Or your supervisor. <gasps> Mister, would I be able to go home early? Okay. Is asking for permission. Number four, to ask for preferences. Would you like coffee, tea, or juice? Would you like chocolate, vanilla, or um, I forget this. It's just on the tip of my tongue. Oh, Ron con pasas. <laughs> uh, to make number five, to make arrangements. Would Friday at 3 p.m. work for you? Eh, viernes a las 3 p.m. ¿Le sale bien? ¿Funcionaría para usted? Uh -huh. Would Friday at 3 p.m. work for you? Entonces, esas son las, los, algunos, some of the uses of would. Ahora, now I would like you to write an example of each use. Vamos a ver, es, hacer este ejercicio de escribir un ejemplo por cada uso. Eh, pueden seguir el ejemplo y solo le, pues, le cambian, ¿verdad? Y sí me gustaría que lo compartieran en el chat, ¿verdad? Mientras tanto, you can take a screenshot and I'm gonna, because I'm going to take the attendance. Voy a tomar la asistencia. I'm going to take the attendance so I'm going to stop sharing the screen. Do you have, do you have this information with you? No? One, two, yes, yes, teacher. Okay. También portaditos. Se sacan diez en conducta. Okay, Alba y Nora Vides. Okay. 
Okay. Alfredo Alexander. Present. Amir Carcañez. Present, teacher. Carlos Walberto Rodríguez. Present. Cristina Rosana. Present. Domingo Alexander. Present. Fátima Portillo. Present. Matías Lemus. Matías is present in the chat. Marco David Velázquez. Present teacher. Marlon Cardona. Present. Mauricio Mahano. Present. Maideline, you did. And she is oyente, right? Nancy Rodríguez. Present teacher. Rocío Martínez. Present teacher. Salvador Escobar. No está Salvador. Vic, perdón, Sandra Velázquez. Víctor Salazar. Present. Present. And Sandra también. Ok. Walter Daniel. Aquí está, Walter dice present. Ok, my delete is a present. Tenía el chat abierto. Uh -huh. William Pérez. Present. And Jasmine Melanie. Present, teacher. Ok, Salvador sí no está, ¿verdad? Okay, thank you. Let's see what you have written on the chat. Would you like to come to my house? Invitation. Would you like to drive with me in my motorcycle? Okay. Matias, when talking about motorcycles, it's ride. Así como bicicleta, ride. Okay. Would you like to practice skate? Mauricio, ahí sería skating. Would you like to practice skating? Would you like to go to the gym with me? Okay. To the gym. Yes, Rocio, I need to go to the gym. Would you like to watch a movie? Excellent, Marlon. Well, it depends on the movie. Would you like to eat pizza? Yes, I would like a, a vegetable pizza. With mushrooms. Mm -hmm. A lot of mushrooms and black uh, oil, uh, olives. Would you like to do my homework, please? To do, Saria, would you do? Ah, would you do my homework, please? Would you do my homework, please? <laughs> it's a request. No, Rocio. It's your responsibility. 
Would you like to travel with me? Of course. Where, where can we go? Would you like to come to my birthday? Thank you for the invitation, Nancy. <laughs> Cristina says, Daniela, would you like to skate? Mm -hmm. Él está preguntando a Daniela, ¿verdad? Would you be able to send your number, your number, vote? Ahí sí no, no le entendí mucho, Yasmin, la última que escribí. Would you be able to send me the packet? Would you like sweet bread or cake? Cake. More examples. Would you like to give me your cell phone number? Okay. What about, ah, okay. For preferences, Marlon Escribio, would you like sweet bread or cake? Would you like to sleep tomorrow in the afternoon? Rocío sería, would you like to drink beers? To drink beers tomorrow, Rocío. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rocío, I don't like those things. Marlon, uh, Mauricio, would you like to play Fortnite? Después de like, acuérdense, vamos a escribir to. Would you lend me your notebook? ¿Me prestarías tu, tu cuaderno? Of course. ¿Cómo has sentido este tema? Good teacher, tengo una duda con la última que escribí. Ajá, dígame. Uh, I don't know if it's correct to say, will I be able to join to the class tomorrow later or later tomorrow? Mm, sería tomorrow al final. Would no, I be able? No. Later tomorrow. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Tuve la intención y lo cambié. <laughs> ¿Verdad que la intuición le dijo? Would I be able? Solo late. No tiene que ser later. Would I be able to join the class? Joint sin la T, porque joint es articulación. Y joint es unirse. Join the class late tomorrow. Ok. Would you like to eat hamburgers tomorrow? Yes, let's go eat. Would we are able to live together? Amilcar es así, no... No comprendo. No tendría que usar el R. Me tomé de acuerdo al, al ejemplo que estaba, teacher. Sí, pero le puso el R. Porque en el ejemplo anterior era you eh, be able. Sí, así es, be able, porque ese es el verbo, be. Ah, uh, y able. También es, van juntos, be able to. Van juntos. Uh -huh. Están casados. Okay. Entonces okay. sería, no podría ir, we be able, así sería. Would we be able to live together? Would no, we be que el be able era, to... era, el, era el cero estar, pero solo. No lo conjuga. Tiene que ser el verbo en su forma base. Ok, ok, ok. Ah, 
Así aprendemos todos. Ok, chicos. Pasamos a la siguiente actividad. ¿O quieren seguir? Teacher, una discusión. Yes, Matías. Would you like to coffee with bread? Would you like some coffee with bread? Excellent, Fatima. Would you, give, en, would you give permission to go to the bank? Diga. Uh, o sea que en este caso el be uh, es va wow, siempre junto. Be able to. Be able to. Sí, o sea, entonces. lo puede lo puede conjugar, ¿verdad? Como por ejemplo, I am able to teach English and Spanish. Eh, you are able to have a conversation with a partner. Pero en este caso, como estamos usando would, con would vamos a usar el verbo en su forma base. Porque sería be able. would you be able or would we be able would i be able would he be able Ajá, a eso me refería que siempre diría be able sí, con would. Siempre, lo ocuparía, siempre lo vamos a hacer así sí. en este y caso cuando no tiene su forma base es able nada más no también va a ir con el verbo to be en su forma como is are or am um. como los ejemplos que les estaba poniendo You are able to have a conversation in English. Uh -huh. uh, Matías is able to ride a motorcycle. Okay, okay. Okay, very good. Thank you guys for uh, participating in class. Now we have more the statements or questions to continue practicing. You have to complete with your ideas. Eh, solo que aquí hay un, un error, miren, en el number five, en el number, number five, number six. Ahí fue un error de... de, de de cuando se estaba digitando, como a veces lo corrige el, 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 um, el, el so programa, ¿verdad? Ajá, entonces sería wouldn't and would. Ahí le pusieron word. <ríe> Pero es would. Es un error. Ay. Ok. What examples can you give me, guys? I would like to watch a movie. Okay. I would like to buy a car. M me too. What color right. would you like? Fatima. Um, red. Yes. Hello. Red or white or black. Or gray. Nah, it doesn't matter the color. I just want a car. <laughs> yeah, but I would prefer <laughs> white, black, or red. Me too. That color. Okay. Mr. Trujillo wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't go to work. Why? Yes. Saturday. Question number three. Would she? Would 
Would she like go for shopping? Would she like to? Like to go for shopping. To go shopping. Uh -huh. Number four. We'd like to. Study English. We'd like to go to the party. Okay. Mm -hmm. We would like to speak English as native speakers. She wouldn't. Ambulances again. A lie, lie to, 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 to war, not lie to, drink a water. Okay. Like to cry. <laughs> <laughs> you would like to cry. Yeah. Would you like to cry? <laughs> No, please don't cry. Because if you cry, I would cry with you. <laughs> because I'm a very sensitive person. If I see you crying, I would cry with you. <laughs> okay, I think it's enough practice. Now guys, you have to write a fine line paragraph about what you would do in case a customer wants the refund do it to a bad service uh, or product that he or she paid for. So imagine um, your client, your customer got something that is broken um, or the service is not good. So what would you do in case a customer wants a refund? What would you do? So right now you're going to work um, writing this paragraph of fine line and later we are going to share the paragraph with our classmates, okay? So right now you're gonna write this paragraph. Are you ready? Not ready, teacher. I don't understand very well. Vaya, van a escribir un párrafo sobre qué harían en una situación como esta. Su cliente quiere un reembolso porque ha obtenido un mal servicio o un producto que no está bien y que ha pagado por ese producto. ¿Qué haría usted? Ok. Si usted es el que le vendió al producto, el vendedor. I'm seller. Exactly. The producer. The manufacturer. What would you do?
I'm so sorry. Vaya, como para ayudarles un poquito, ¿cómo empezaría en el párrafo? Could you probing me wise the following details of your play? I am excuse me, excuse for him. <laughs> okay. O sea, le, me, podría, me podría brindar los detalles de su reclamo. Algo así. Ah, ok. So sería así, miren. I would ask the client. Le preguntaría, porque esa es una situación hipotética. A hypothetical uh -huh. situation. So, I would ask uh -huh. the client to give me the inf some information. or details about the product or service that he got. Vaya, Rocío escrito, I would like to help you solve the problem. I would like to send the product to the maintenance area for review. Okay. Good, good, Rocío. That's what I like about this group, that you have like awesome ideas. It's because you are working in that area. You work, you, I mean, this is what you do in your work, but in Spanish, and you are learning how to do it in English. Okay, we have two more messages. It says, Good day, my dear customer. We are sorry that our product has been the, I cannot see it really well. Has been, defective and as a responsible company we will send you another product in exchange and we hope that it meets your expectations would you like to keep the defective product we would like you to not i would like you to not incur expenses and keep it the product is changed but first we have to renew it with the support staff since we have to confirm that what you design is true allow me a few hours oh. Okay, nice. Good. Nancy, lo único Nancy que sí tiene que utilizar el wood, ¿verdad? Mm, okay, se me olvidó. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Teacher. Yes, Mr. Cañangas. 
can you read the solution, the problem? Okay, the one you okay. sent. Okay. Suyo. First, sí. Ah, me está preguntando si usted lo puede leer. Can I sí. read it? Sí, sí, sí. Me sí. dijo, can you? Ah, ok. Excuse me. <laughs> es que no olvide la teacher. Es el lapsus del sueño. Ajá. Ok. First, uh, I am excuse, excuse me for him. Quiero decir, le pediría disculpas por el mal servicio. I want to apologize. Apologize. I want. Bueno, to... o, o podría, ¿cómo lo he escrito? ¿Lo he escrito como sus compañeros que ya está hablando con el cliente o solo está hablando en general de lo que haría? Mm, no, ya, ya es, o sea, no, de lo que haría, de lo que haría. No, no okay. estoy hablando de. Ah, vaya, entonces así, mira, así como lo voy a escribir en el chat ahorita. I would apologize. I would apologize. Uh -huh. I would apologize. 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 Okay, I would apologize. Eh, bueno, yo le había puesto for him. Eh, and then I would, I would offer some article promotional. Uh -huh. Or promotional article. Uh -huh. Also, also I say I would like to sort out the problem. Yes. Okay. Uh, I would change. I would change the bad product, and to get some voucher or fast food or ticket to cinema. <laughs> okay. To to keep the client happy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, good ideas, guys. Okay. Um good, very good. This is what I wrote. I would ask the client to give me some information about the problem with the product or service. I would evaluate if the refund is necessary or possible, or if the client would accept a change. And I didn't finish because I was reading your chats. Uh, would you let me see? Vamos a ver aquí otro. Si gusta, nos pueden leer ustedes. Marlon, ¿le gustaría leer el suyo? Yes, sure, teacher. Let me check. I apologize for the drawback. I can give you a phone and I would like to give you a discount in the next shop. And I promise we are going to upgrade our service level to avoid it in the future. Okay, very good, thank you. Matias, it says, thank you for calling. How can I help you? I have a problem with my product. I want to return and I want my refund. <laughs> Bring me the product and we would like to be able to see the product and reach an agreement. <laughs> this client is very angry. <laughs> Okay, people, thank you so much. Let's see, the next activity. All right, tenemos, we have another message. This is, okay, it's Matias. Okay, now we have here a listening practice. This is about travel arrangements. Vamos a probar el listening. Okay. What is a range teacher? Plans. Ah, okay. Plans. Okay. Give me a second. Arrangements. 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 What are you doing, Mr. Cañengues? We can hear that, <laughs> like if you are moving something. Yes, I, I am nervous. Uh, you are anxious. Nervous or anxious? Anxious, I think you're anxious, it's my anxiety. Okay. Es ansioso. Yes, Betty. 
Why? You are very anxious. Why? Tell us. I have uh, many problems. Mm -hmm. And I... Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? I want to say preocupado. Worried. Uh, worry about the, the classes. I, I feel to a few to learn. Le hablo traba lenguas, teacher. Sorry. No, no, I, I, I'm trying to understand. So you are worried about the classes because you feel that's what I didn't get it. To learn a few, a few to learn or learn a few. Oh, little. I'm learning little. Uh -uh. Okay. Learning little, yes, yes. Siente que está aprendiendo poquito. Y I don't have, uh, I don't have many time for to, for, for study. You don't have much time to study. Yes. Okay. Um, now we have the listening, okay? This listening yes. is about traveling. Checking travel websites can be very helpful Helpful in planning trips. After you decide where to travel, do you talk to a travel agent about your vacation plans or do you make all your plans online by yourself? Okay, I don't know if you travel people. Do you travel? Who travels here? You Can travel. You before the pandemic, I traveled to Guatemala, Nicaragua, and Costa Rica. Wow, nice. Nice. Yo, ya tengo tiempo en no viajar antes, sí. Okay. Now, listening to the recording, and then we're going to answer the questions. I'm going to read the questions before, so you can focus on what to listen. What is the main... What is the men's destination? When is the men's departure date? The 22nd, the 23rd, or the 24th? Departure date. What is the flight number for the second part of his trip? The second part of his trip, okay? What is the flight number? 555, 1070, or 90? How long is the man's layover between flights? The, the, um, the layover refers to the time in which he has to wait. He, he gets to the airport, he has to wait and then take another, another flight. So what, how long is that time? Less than an hour, less than two hours or less than three hours? The man asks for a special meal, early check-in, or a nice full seat. A seat only for himself. So, are you ready, guys, to listen? And practice your ready. listening skills. Excellent. Yeah, that's <laughs> Freedom Travel, how may I help you? Yes, I'd like to make a flight reservation for the 23rd of this month. Okay, what is your destination? Well, I'm flying to Helsinki, Finland. Okay, let me check what flights are available. Okay. And when will you be returning? Uh, well, I'd like to catch a return flight on the 29th. Oh, and I'd like the cheapest flight available. Okay, let me see. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah? Well, the price for the flight is almost double the price you would pay if you leave the day before. Ooh. Let's go with the cheaper flight. Uh, by the way, how much is it? It's only $980. All right. Well, let's go with that. Okay, that's flight 1070 from Salt Lake City to New York Kennedy Airport, transferring to flight 90 from Kennedy to Helsinki. And what are the departure and arrival times for each of those flights? It leaves Salt Lake City at 10 a.m., Arriving in New York at 4.35 p.m., then transferring to Flight 90 at 5.55 p.m., and arriving in Helsinki at 8.30 a.m. the next day. 
All right, and uh, I'd like to request a vegetarian meal. Sure, no problem. And could I have your name, please? Great, very good. I'm going to play one more time. Freedom Travel, how may I help you? Yes, I'd like to make a flight reservation for the 23rd of this month. Okay, what is your destination? Well, I'm flying to Helsinki, Finland. Okay, let me check what flights are available. Okay. And when will you be returning? Uh, well, I'd like to catch a return flight on the 29th. Oh, and I'd like the cheapest flight available. Okay, let me see. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah? Well, the price for the flight is almost double the price you would pay if you leave the day before. Ooh. Let's go with the cheaper flight. Uh, by the way, how much is it? It's only $980. All right. Well, let's go with that. Okay, that's flight 1070 from Salt Lake City to New York Kennedy Airport, transferring to flight 90 from Kennedy to Helsinki. And what are the departure and arrival times for each of those flights? It leaves Salt Lake City at 10 a.m., arriving in New York at 4.35 p.m., then transferring to flight 90 at 5.55 p.m., and arriving in Helsinki at 8.30 a.m. the next day. All right, and uh, I'd like to request a vegetarian meal. Sure, no problem. And could I have your name, please? <laughs> I like Otra vez. One more time. <laughs> Freedom Travel, how may I help you? Yes, I'd like to make a flight reservation for the 23rd of this month. Okay, what is your destination? Well, I'm flying to Helsinki, Finland. Okay, let me check what flights are available. Okay. And when will you be returning? Uh, well, I'd like to catch a return flight on the 29th. Oh, and I'd like the cheapest flight available. Okay, let me see. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah? Well, the price for the flight is almost double the price you would pay if you leave the day before. Ooh. Let's go with the cheaper flight. Uh, by the way, how much is it? It's only $980. All right. Well, let's go with that. Okay, that's flight 1070 from Salt Lake City to New York Kennedy Airport, transferring to flight 90 from Kennedy to Helsinki. And what are the departure and arrival times for each of those flights? It leaves Salt Lake City at 10 a.m., arriving in New York at 4.35 p.m., then transferring to flight 90 at 5.55 p.m., and arriving in Helsinki at 8.30 a.m. the next day. All right, and uh, I'd like to request a vegetarian meal. Sure, no problem. And could I have your name, please? That's a very happy uh, agent. <laughs> happy agent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Marco, for the information. Okay, so what is the man's destination? Very nice. Excellent. He says, well, I'm flying to Helsinki, Finland. Good. When is the man's departure date? The 22nd, the 23rd, or the 24th? 24th. 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 Mm. Number You're two. Sure. You're not sure. Freedom Travel, how may I help you? Yes, I'd like to make a flight reservation for the 23rd of this month. Okay. What is your destination? Well, I'm flying to Helsinki, Finland. Okay. Let me check what flights are available. Okay. And when will you be returning? Uh, well, I'd like to catch a return flight on the 29th. Oh, and I'd like the cheapest flight available. Okay. Let me see. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah? Well, the price for the flight is almost double the price you would pay if you leave the day before. Ooh. Let's go with the cheaper flight. Uh, by the way, how much is it? It's only $980. Okay, so it says the 22nd. 20, 20, 23rd. 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 Yeah, but the, the, the agent says something about it if he leaves the day before. Uh, he has to pay the double of the... Of the 20 seconds. Okay, let's 30. check. Correct. 
it says the, the man first wants to leave the 23rd, but then the travel agent tells him that the price on the 23rd is two times the price than on the 22nd. So he chooses the second one, the 22nd. He says, let's go to the cheaper one. Okay. Travel agent says, well, the price would apply. It's almost double the price you would pay if you leave the day before. So he chose, he chose the day before, the 22nd. He said, let's go for the cheaper one. What is the flight number for the second part of his trip? 90. Eight. No, 10, 70. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. The second part, the second part of the trip. How long is the man's layover between flight? Less than an hour, less than two hours, or less than three hours? I think that was the most difficult part to understand. Less than two hours. Less than two rounds. Es que Dominga lo escucho muchas veces. Excelente. Y Lee Paul, es que ya se ve bien. Bueno, hasta el bueno. Por favor, sorry, bien. Sin marido. Sin marido. No, aquí en esta parte, miren. Llega a las 4.35 y el otro mm. va a las 5.55. Entonces, ¿cuánto tiempo hay? Una hora y 20 minutos. Bien. Ajá, en arriving in Helsinki. Entonces, una hora veinte minutos, eso significa que es less than two hours. Ok. Ok. The man asks for a special meal, early check-in on an iPhone seat. A special meal. Why? Special meal. Why? Vegetable meal. He, asks, he requests. He's vegetarian. Vegetable meal. Vegetarian meal. Okay. Excellent. I'm so proud of you guys. Every day you are getting better listening skills. Good. And we have more exercises. There is another one. Would you like to listen to another one? Otra? Yes. We need to yes. listen. Pizza yes. restaurant order or pizza delivery? Pizza delivery. Pizza delivery. <laughs> Ay, es que esa es la que ya escucho domingo. Ya se lo puede de memoria. Yes, that's why he wants that. Restaurant one. order pizza. Con que escuché la de los niños. <laughs> Modo fácil, dice. <laughs> Muy fácil. No, but it's good because he, I mean, if it's difficult for you and if you practice, it's better. Yeah. What he does is great. Okay, just let me load the page. Give me one minute, please. You know what? What we can do is to practice this conversation. Guys, it's almost 10, it's 9.44. Yeah. Pizza delivery. Mmm, seems so delicious. Okay, I have some questions for you. What are some of the questions you would ask or be asked when ordering a pizza by phone? What are some of the questions? That you will ask. Uh -huh. Tell me, please. How much is it? How much is the pizza? Okay. What is the promo the promotion day? 
Okay, some offers or sales they have. Ingredients. Mm -hmm. Time of delivery. Yes, yes, that's what you want to see. Um, <laughs> the, the, promo, the promo today. The promo of the day, okay. The offer of the day, very good. Let's ingredients. 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 Oh. Ingredients. 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 And say the direction. Mm -hmm. The address direction. Address personal. The personal address uh -huh, of the delivery. Look at this pizza, guys. Delicious. Yummy, yummy. Mm. <laughs> Alfredo ya se la comió. Yes. <laughs> la comiste, Alfredo. Mm. He, he wants pizza for breakfast. Siempre. But idioms. Begin. ¿Qué significa? What does begin mean? Significa let's eat. Okay, we have plenty of pizza. So begin. Tenemos un montón de pizza. Comamos. Sing for your supper. Supper is another is another word for dinner. Synonym of dinner, supper. Do some form of service in return for something in return. I want the example, I wanted my dad to pay for the movie tickets, but he said I have to sing for my supper by cleaning the garage. Mm -hmm. Sing for your supper es un idiom, es una expresión así como, como coloquial, ¿verdad? En inglés. Y dice, mi papá quería, no dice, yo quería que mi papá pagara los, los, los tickets del, del cine, pero él dijo que tengo que, I have to sing for my supper by cleaning the garage. Do we have an idiom similar in Spanish? No sé cómo, cómo podríamos hacer, no, no, ahorita no, no se me viene a la mente una expresión similar en español. ¿De, de qué dicho? Alguien hace un, 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 un favor, pero luego usted tiene que hacer algo para pagarlo. Ese favor. La película. Es como trueque. ¿Mm? Es, como, ah, de es como hacer un trueque. Ah, exactly. Yo sí, como nada de gratis. Vea. Sing for your supper. Nada de gracias. Ok, I'm going to read the questions. I think this is, this is a, a good strategy to read the, uh, the questions before listening. Which topping is not mentioned as one available from this pizza shop? Mushrooms, bacon, or Italian chicken. So which topping is not mentioned? The man finally orders a pizza with pepperoni and mushrooms on one side and on the other. So in one side, pepperoni and mushrooms, and then the other side, green peppers and Italian sausage, bacon and ham, or black olives and pineapple. My goodness. I feel so hungry now. The man orders breadsticks and a beverage, a drink and chicken sticks, or a salad and orange juice with his pizza. What is the total of his order? $15.99, $15.19, or $15.99? It's the same, right? What is the man's address? 1340 South 16 East. 1314 South 16 East or 3040 South 60 East. Ha! You gotta pay attention. Ready? Ready. Ready. Let's go. Hello, can I take your order? Yes, I'd like a large pepperoni pizza with mushrooms and green peppers. Would you like anything else? Well, wait, uh, can I make that a half and half pizza? Sure, what would you like on each half? Uh, what toppings do you have? Well, we have Italian sausage, 
ham, mushrooms, onions, pineapple, black olives, green peppers, bacon, tomatoes, shrimp, clams, and squid. Shrimp, clams, and squid? What kind of pizza is that? Uh, the manager spent some time overseas、oh. and thinks his new seafood pizza will be a hit with the customers. But to be honest, the swimmer special, as he <laughs> calls it, is an acquired taste.、Uh, I'll pass on that sink or swim special, but I'll have pepperoni and mushrooms in one half and green peppers and Italian sausage on the other. Oh, and could I get extra cheese on that pizza? All right. Would you care for any breadsticks or a beverage with your order? Well, I don't know. Actually,、uh, we have a Friday night special going on right now. Oh. And if you order any large pizza and drink, we'll throw in a free order of breadsticks plus a three dollar coupon for use with your next order. Huh,、uh, sure, why not? And what drink comes with the pizza? Either apple or orange juice. I'll take orange juice. Okay, your total comes to fifteen nineteen, which includes tax. Okay. And can I have your name? Uh, yeah, J Han. Uh, did you say J Han? No. It's Han. Actually, it's a Korean name, but many people have difficulty making it out. Hey, maybe I should change my name to Han. Ah,、uh, names are important. Don't change it. Okay. Oh, and your address and telephone number. It's thirteen forty South, sixteen East, and the phone number is three four zero eighteen seventy. Okay. Let me repeat your order: a large half and half pizza. Okay. One half with pepperoni and mushrooms. Yeah. The other with Italian sausage and green peppers. Yeah. Orange juice and your free order of breadsticks. J Han. Not hand. Yeah, that's right. At three forty South, sixteen East, three four zero eighteen seventeen. Is that correct? Everything except for the phone number. It's eighteen seventy, not seventeen. All right. Thanks for your order. It should arrive at your doorstep in thirty minutes or less, or you'll receive a free small pizza with your next order. Great. Thanks. Nice, and you speak very fast. <laughs> Would you like to listen again, or let's try to answer the questions? Please say it again. Okay, the last time, and then we'll try to answer the questions. Okay. Okay. Hello, can I take your order? Yes, I'd like a large pepperoni pizza with mushrooms and green peppers. Would you like anything else? Well, wait.、Uh, can I make that a half and half pizza? Sure. What would you like on each half?、Uh, what toppings do you have? Well, we have Italian sausage. Ham, mushrooms, onions, pineapple, black olives, green peppers, bacon, tomatoes, shrimp, clams, and squid. Shrimp, clams, and squid? What kind of pizza is that?、Uh, the manager spent some time overseas、oh. and thinks his new seafood pizza will be a hit with the customers. But to be honest, the swimmer special, as he <laughs> calls it, is an acquired taste.、Uh, I'll pass on that sink or swim special, but I'll have pepperoni and mushrooms in one half, and green peppers and Italian sausage on the other. Oh, and can I get extra cheese on that pizza? All right. Would you care for any breadsticks or a beverage with your order? Well, I don't know.、Uh, Actually, we have a Friday night special going on right now. Oh. And if you order any large pizza and drink, we'll throw in a free order of breadsticks plus a three dollar coupon for use with your next order. Huh?、Uh, sure. Why not? And what drink comes with the pizza? Either apple or orange juice. I'll take orange juice. Okay. Your total comes to fifteen nineteen, which includes tax. Okay. And can I have your name? Uh, yeah, J Han. Uh, did you say J Han? No, it's Han. Actually, it's a Korean name, but many people have difficulty making it out. Hey, maybe I should change my name to Han. Ah,、uh, names are important. Don't change it. Okay. Oh, and your address and telephone number? It's thirteen forty South, sixteen East, and the phone number is three four zero eighteen seventy. Okay. Let me repeat your order: a large half and half pizza. Okay. One half with pepperoni and mushrooms. Yeah. The other with Italian sausage and green peppers. Yeah. Orange juice and your free order of breadsticks. J Han, not Han. Yeah, that's right. At three forty South, sixteen East, three four zero eighteen seventeen. Is that correct? Everything except for the phone number. It's eighteen seventy, not seventeen. All right. Thanks for your order. It should arrive at your doorstep in thirty minutes or less, or you'll receive a free small pizza with your next order. Great, thanks. Okay, don't worry. I mean, it's ex.、Uh, they are, they are speak very fast. Don't worry if you don't get it correctly, guys. I'm sorry. This is not what I wanted to show. <laughs> Use the messages.、Um, In a second, guys, and it's almost time to finish. But I, I like to do this、um, 
listening exercises because I think they are very important for you. They help you a lot, right? Because we are listening to you in native speakers. And that's the way they speak very fast. So guys, cooking is not as one available from this pizza shop. Mushrooms, bacon, or Italian chicken? Much. Bacon. Any other opinion? Italian, Italian chicken. They talk about Italian sausages, but not Italian chicken. Okay. Pueden leer aquí the ingredients they have. Well, we have uh -huh. um, Italian sausage, Italian sausage um, mushrooms, um, onions, onion. pineapple, black no, no, olive. olive. Green peppers, bacon, tomatoes, shrimp, clams. The man finally orders a pizza with pepperoni and mushrooms on one side and green peppers and Italian sausage, bacon and ham, or black olives and pineapple. Green pepperoni and... Green pepper and Italian sausage. Excellent. Very good. The man orders breadsticks and a beverage, a drink and chicken sticks, or a salad and orange juice. Orange juice. A salad and orange juice. Mm, they didn't mention a salad. Orange juice, I listen. Yes, but listen, breadsticks and a beverage. A drink and chicken sticks, or a salad and orange juice. Big chicken and. I drink I chicken sticks. Bread stick and. A wheel. Bear stick and bear. Yeah, the. The 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 girl offers him. Um, Bread sticks because they were an offer and orange juice as a beverage. So I easy by incluido, okay? What is the total of his order? 1599, 15.99. 15.99. 15.99. 15.99. 19. 19. Yes. which includes tax, que es impuesto. O el IVA, ¿verdad? Aquí. What is the man's address? 1314 South 16 East. Ay, de esa no me acuerdo ya. <laughs> the second. The second. 13, 13, 14. Yes, I think it's the first one. Yes, 13, 14. I think it's the first one. 1340 South 16 East. Let's listen to only to that part, okay? Because I want to make sure. Juice and your free order of breadsticks. J. Han, not Han. Yeah, that's right. At 340 South, 16 East. 340 1817. Is that correct? Everything except for the phone number. It's 1870, not 17. All right. Thanks for your order. It should arrive at 16 East. And the phone number is 340. Names are important. Don't the change it. Okay. Oh, and your address and telephone number. It's 1340 South, 16 East, and the phone number is 340-1870. So it's the first option, right? 1340. 
Yeah. It's 1340 South 16 East, and the phone number is 340 1870. 340 1870. Okay, guys, it's 10 p.m. So, can you tell me what did you learn today in class? We learned the use of. The use of wood and would like to would like to. excellent wood like and would like to okay uh, don't forget please to uh, complete the homework tomorrow is the last day to complete the homework okay and yes, uh, mm -hmm. very good thank you guys now I'm gonna take the last attendance please say present uh, Alba Dinora. Carlos, Carlos, perdón, Alfredo Alexander. Alfredo. How about for and with the oh, with internet. The internet. Okay, Amilcar Cañengues. Present teacher. Carlos Guarberto. Present teacher. Cristina Roxana. Present. Domingo Alexander. Present teacher. Fátima Portillo. Present. Matías Lemus. Present. Marco David. Present teacher. Marlon Cardona. Present. Mauricio Alexander. Present. Maydeli Judith. Eh, Nancy Lisset. Present teacher. Rocío Martínez. Present teacher. Salvador Edgardo. Sandra Yamilet. <laughs> Víctor David. <laughs> ok, Sandra dice el present. Walter Daniel. William Eduardo Pérez. And Jasmine Mela. Present teacher. Chicos, Marco eh, va a ceder su espacio de 10 minutos porque no puede quedarse esta noche. Entonces, no sé si a alguno de ustedes les gustaría. Bueno, si no, pues, no hay... Ajá. ¿Alguien, Cristina? <ríe> Cristina creo que fue ella quien me dijo que, que quería, pero no sé si puede que esta noche. Bueno, chicos, cuídense mucho. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Dream in English, please. We hope so. Good night, people. Good night, everybody. Good night, Marlon. Good night. Good night. Good night.